Hello, and today for biology, continuing with our work in Mendelian genetics and heredity, we're going to look at another multiple allele situation. And in this case, the multiple allele situation we're going to look at is what is called sex-linked traits. And those are traits that are directly linked to the X or Y chromosomes that determine the sex of an organism. Uh, there are four different traits that we are going to look at, and that is Rett syndrome, uh, color blindness, hemophilia, and then Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Now in most cases, and all four of these cases, the sex link traits are carried on the X chromosome, and we'll talk about that in just a, a moment. So just as we saw with codominance, incomplete dominance, and blood typing, sex linkage is another multiple allele situation, and we're going to use superscripts added to the allele to identify traits being dominant or recessive, and in most cases, as I said, when we're looking at sex linkage, we're going to look at those alleles from the X chromosome perspective. So we're going to again look at sex link traits, and these sex link traits are mostly carried on the X chromosome, which is the chromosome for the female. And we are going to look at the four different uh, unique situations here of color blindness, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, hemophilia, and Rett syndrome. Now, color blindness, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and hemophilia are all recessive traits on the X chromosome where Rett syndrome is a dominant trait. It is a unique situation. There are very few dominant traits on for sex link traits, but Rett syndrome is one, and we'll look at that so we understand the, there are these unique situations. There are very few and mostly insignificant traits found on the Y chromosome, so we are not going to spend any time on Y-based traits. Now to remind ourselves, the determination of sex is done by sperm and egg combining. When the sperm fertilizes the egg, it is dependent on which sperm from the, me the male that fertilizes the egg that determines sex, because the X can only come from the female. So the X can only deliver an X chromosome. If the sperm from the male is an X, we get a female offspring. Again, the female can only provide an X chromosome. If the male provides an X chromosome, we get a female offspring. If the female provides an X and the male sperm that fertilizes the egg is a Y, then we get a male offspring. And lastly, if the female provides that X chromosome and it is a sperm with a Y chromosome in it, then we get a male offspring. So no matter what, it's a 50-50 perspective percentage of getting a female or a male offspring, and each offspring is a unique probability. So when we look at who is responsible for the sex of the child, it is the male sperm that is the determining factor whether a female or male offspring is conceived. So let's go ahead and look at color blindness. And for those of you who don't know, color blindness is a reduced ability to distinguish between colors. And this condition is inherited most of the time from the mother to the son. However, a mother and father can both pass it to a daughter. There are other causes of color blindness, damage to the eye due to disease or medications, and most often men are affected more than women. And when we look at the Punnett squares in just a bit, we're going to see why that is the case. Now, color blindness usually involves the inability to distinguish between reds and greens. But there is also a blue-green color blindness, and then there's a total color blindness. There is no treatment for inherited color blindness, but if color blindness is brought on by other conditions, sometimes you can treat and help that cause. 
Now let's see if any of you may have the colorblind gene. So if you stare at this circle, you should be able to distinguish that there is a number in the center of this circle. Those of you who are looking, we're looking for the number 74. The 7 is here, and the 4 is here. Another example of that would be here. So if you look at this circle directly, you should see the number 45. The 4 is right here, and the 5 is right here. And one other example we have, looking at this circle, we should be able to identify the number 42 right here in the center of the circle. We see a 4 and a 2. If you are not able to distinguish any of those numbers, maybe you need to look into whether you have a form of color blindness. Now, color blindness is a recessive trait carried on the X chromosome. So the alleles we're going to use for the colorblind trait are an X with a capital C for normal vision, an X with a lowercase c for colorblind vision, and the Y from the male does not carry a trait. So in this case, we're going to look at what the female provides, whether she provides a normal vision X capital C, or whether she provides an X lowercase c colorblind vision to determine what the offspring will show. Now our genotypes and phenotypes for the colorblind trait are going to be X capital C, X capital C, which would be homozygous for the dominant trait. That would be a female with normal vision. If we have a heterozygous genotype, X capital C, X little c, this is a female who is a colorblind carrier, which means she does not have the colorblind gene or trait, but she carries the gene, which means she can pass it on. Then we have homozygous recessive, X little c, X little c. This would be a female who is colorblind and has colorblind as a trait. If you have an X capital C Y, this is a male with normal vision. And if you have an X little c y, this is a male who is colorblind. So just as we did with other uh, traits for incomplete dominance, codominance, and blood types, we can go through the process of using a Punnett square to determine possible outcomes. So we are going to cross a heterozygous female for colorblind trait. So she is going to be X capital C, X little c. So she is a carrier of the gene, but she is not colorblind. And we're going to cross her with a male who has normal vision. So he is going to be X capital C, Y. So we're going to again segregate the alleles. So we're going to put the female on the top. X capital C over the left column, X little c over the right column. We're going to put the male on the left, in this case the X capital C on the first row, and the X and the Y goes on the second row. So the female is going to give an X capital C, and the male is going to give an X capital C. So this is going to be a homozygous male, or sorry, a homozygous female who is normal vision. The second offspring is going to be X capital C, X little c. This is also going to be a female, but she is going to be a carrier, but not be colorblind. The X capital C with the Y makes a male offspring. But because of the capital C from the mother, this male has normal vision. And then X little c with the Y, this is another male. But because this male receives the lowercase c from the mother, this male is colorblind. So our offspring are going to be 25% normal female, 25% carrier female, 
25% normal male and 25% colorblind male. So what if we cross a colorblind female with a male with normal vision? So the colorblind female is going to be x little c, x little c. The male with normal vision is going to be x capital C, y. We segregate the alleles as we have, so the female is going to be x little c, x little c over each of the columns. The male is going to be an x capital C and a y for each of the rows. Now what we're going to do is combine the alleles. So X capital C, X little c, carrier female. X capital C, X little c, carrier female. So neither of the female offspring have color blindness, but both of them are carriers. For the other two offspring, X little c, Y, this is a colorblind male, and x little c, y, this is another colorblind male. So in this case, both of the males are colorblind because they receive the lowercase c from their mother. Both of the female offspring are carriers because they receive the colorblind gene from the mother, but they receive the normal gene from their father. So we get 50% carrier females, 50% colorblind males. Let's do one more example. In this example, we're going to take a female and a male who are both colorblind. So the female is x little c, x little c. The male is x little c, y. When we segregate the alleles on the top for the female and then on the left for the male, we end up getting a situation where all of the offspring will be colorblind because in both cases the mother is giving away the x little c but the father also can only give an x little c and for the male offspring the mother gives an x little c so they are both going to be colorblind since the y does not carry a trait for colorblindness. So our out outcomes are going to be 50% colorblind females, 50% colorblind males. So in our next video we're going to look at some more examples of sex-linked traits and we're going to look at hemophilia and Rett syndrome.